The West End Auto Body Good News Story is brought to you by West End Auto Body, a member of the Quality Assured Collision Network. On a day like today, it's easy to appreciate the natural beauty that surrounds us here in the Fraser Valley. But it takes work to make this community picturesque. Today on the West End Auto Body Good News Story, we meet Chilliwack's youngest environmentalist. This makes me feel happy to make every people feel happy. Six-year-old Sarah Maycock is a little girl with a big heart. She's in touch with her feelings a lot. She really cares a lot about other people and stuff like that. One of her favorite things to say is, I may be a kid, but I still have a voice. And it's empowered her to, um, to speak up about things that she really cares about. Sarah is passionate about helping the less fortunate near and far, and about being environmentally friendly. Um, I pick up garbage and I use each side of my paper and I use the three O's which are recycle, reuse and reduce. And for almost every one of my birthday parties instead of asking for presents I ask for food donations to give to people who don't have any money for food. For her fourth and fifth birthday, Sarah asked for canned goods instead of presents we've done over the last few years for her birthdays, um, and rather than give presents if we have large birthday parties, um, Sarah would request food bank donations and she loves to take them. Um, they've let us come right into the food bank and show us where they put them on the shelves and stuff and, and when we leave she's like, Mommy, this was the best present ever because it just, it means so much more than all of the, the junk that gets forgotten the next day. Sarah makes sure Mom Cheryl packs her environmentally friendly school lunches. Instead of using plastic bags at school for in my lunch box, I use um little kind of like kind of like boxes, but they're made of plastic, and we keep using them over and over again. I find that she feels really proud of herself and she knows that something she did has made a difference. And If she can't reduce, reuse or recycle it, then she makes sure her garbage and other people's garbage gets into the trash. Say they were eating like little food from McDonald's and put in their truck and if they didn't have a garbage can they don't just get your garbage throw it out the window. Just keep it in your truck until you get home and then throw it out. I asked Sarah why it was important to keep the earth clean. Because it helps us a lot and we should help it. I want the earth to be nice for me when I grow up too because I think that in some places it's very, very nice and beautiful here. Coincidentally, Sarah found some empty McDonald's cups on the road near her house. She had a message for that litter bug. I would want to tell them to stop littering and start helping. I mean, it seems kind of normal to me because she's just my daughter and it's all I, that's all I know is, is that from her. But um, yeah, she is. She's a special kid, definitely. And um, it, it rubs off with other kids too and it gets other people involved and other children want to do you know similar things. So it's nice. and we you know, rally the troops, right? In her latest effort, Sarah and her mom joined up with Souls for Souls, sending shoes to people in need. They rallied the troops and collected hundreds of pairs. Well, what I'm doing collecting shoes is like making people in Haiti and stuff be very happy and helping them by giving them lots of shoes because they had a big earthquake and their homes were made out of Stone and it made and the and the ground was very hot for their feet. And they lost most of everything that they had. Cheryl appreciates the time she and Sarah spend together helping their community. I love that she feels like you know she can make a difference because we go to do these things and there's just the discussions that we have um, you know on the way to you know just going to pick up garbage or just just different things like that. I think we talk about things that are really important that might get missed a lot of times in the busyness of, of life and I think we're really lucky that we're able to do that and go and spend time doing that together. And Sarah likes it too. It really really makes me feel very happy. 
And that concludes this episode of the West End Auto Body Good News Story. If you know someone or a group of people working to make this community a better place, then we want to hear from you. Email us at theexpress at sjrb.ca. For the West End Auto Body Good News Story, I'm Andrea Vischer. The West End Auto Body Good News Story has been brought to you by West End Auto Body, a member of the Quality Assured Collision Network.